Yo, welcome back to ZimDog. I want to do at least one more video on fishing North Atlantic, and we'll see where it goes from here. I'm not sure how long I'll play this game, but I've had some good fun with it, uh, even just in here in the early game. Uh, last time I showed you the very beginning in our first few minutes video and kind of introduced the game to you, we did some harpoon fishing. I want to do deep line fishing this time, and there was just an update to the game today that made it apparently harder to catch the swordfish and tuna, like they're not quite as populated or not as available, so I thought we'd test that, see if we're still catching them in the same spot we were catching them before. Did want to show you real quick, at any dock, um, if you want to switch over from harpooning to... Um, to doing the deep lining you need to go to rigging here and equip your or purchase and equip deep line fishing which I think is 15k and then you need to go to fish market to fishing gear you need to purchase deep lines they're 1500 each you'll need well I would suggest getting 8 of them which is the maximum you can do on this boat then you want to bait them I like baiting them with squid swordfish are a little more worth a little more than tuna in most markets so squid seems to be the way to go there and um, I guess I would also recommend in terms of upgrades getting more storage I'm maxed out storage four on this little starter boat and then you do have to have at least one crew with you so you can hire a crew you can usually get somebody for about 15k so after you do a little bit of harpooning, you should have enough money, or if you want to kind of skip most of the harpooning grind, which is understandable, it's fun, but it can get old. You can just go borrow money. With the amount of money we're going to be making on deep line fishing, if you can get on the swordfish especially, if you do like 30, 60K loan, you'll be able to pay that off real fast. Uh, okay, I think that's all you need to know. Let's go ahead and get out there and get started here. We'll... Um, get our boat turned around and then we'll fast travel we're actually going to fast tra travel all the way back down to where i was catching them before because i want to see if they're still down there i had come way up here to this um this port because i was just trying to discover some of the other ports that i haven't yet uh discovered so we're up here at digby um it's gonna be a little a little tricky getting out but let's see if we can do it Okay, so it let us fi fast travel to the lighthouse. Does that mean it'll let us like fast travel to here? Oh, that's cool. I think you use a little more fuel when you fast travel like this, but we're kind of okay with it. All right, so now we're gonna go all the way down, all the way down to here. And then I think we'll just set them straight across. I wanna see if they're still down here. We don't have any fish on board, so our boat will move a little more quickly. And then we'll just go sell here. If we can get on the fish, we'll just go sell them here so you can see what they're worth. Just wanted to show you a little deep line fishing, though. It's pretty fun. You can get into you're making a little more money. Um, payoff is a little better than uh, grinding out the harpoon stuff. All right, so, wow, look at this weather. Holy cow. So what we want to do is get our crew to prepare the gear. And uh, we'll slow down a little bit so we can... I guess we don't really need to slow down. We want to get a little closer anyway. All right, so he's ready to set the deep line. It's just a question of how soon do I want to put him down. This weather is brutal. I've never... I mean, I've just seen rain, so I guess it's... What month are we in? We're still early August, but man, oh man. All right, I'm actually gonna fast travel like to here and then we'll start setting them. All right, is he still back there? Yeah, he's ready to go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop the first deep line. So you really just hold R down and then he just drops it. We have to wait. Uh, if you try to drop it again, it tells you you gotta be 100 meters away from your first one. So as soon as this lights up again, 
that will mean that we're far enough away and we can set our second one. Again, all these are, are um, baited with squid, so we're just going to drop eight of them real quick and see if we can't um, get some bites. We definitely want to remember to let our crew rest while we're letting them soak so that he is not too tired to help us haul them. We do have to have a, a, a crew with us to do this type of fishing. All right, so that, that should be half of them. We've got four out of the boat now. We're going to do four more. Turn some of these uh, some of these lights off. All right, we've got two left. So again, if you look at the map, this is scrolled out as far as you can go. We're down here. It's not in a super deep spot, but it's not in the shallow either. It's kind of in the middle. And for me, this has been a good spot. That's why I marked this for swordfish. Um, but the update today may have changed that. So uh, we will find out together if, uh, if we're still on the fish here. So all we really want to do now, like I said, let's go ahead and rest the crew. We've got all eight of our uh, of our deep line rigs in the water. So now we're going to just sort of get set up here. We're going to want to haul these in on the right side of the boat. And so we can go ahead and all right, we do have him resting. So we're good. We want to stop driving and then we want to go ahead and anchor down. I usually do it for about 10 hours to start off with. And I think it would be flashing. You'll start getting notifications when you've got bites on. The game is very nice in that way in, in terms of letting you know. Um, so usually I'll just skip ahead. And I hope the fish are still out here. All right, I think that beep was letting me know we're getting a bite alert. Uh, yeah, deep line bite. So it was on the first one. It came at 16 hours and 34 minutes. We really want uh, multiple bites though. Obviously we're down here at the last one so doesn't make sense to um all right i think we've got bites on all of them now okay so now that we have the bites we can start getting into position and the last thing we need to do is get the crew ready to haul gear so the waves have calmed down a little bit, which will make this a little less difficult. It can be a little bit uh, in the, with the big waves and everything. You sort of have a small area of pulling up alongside of these. But it looks like we're in good shape. And you can see, I don't know if you noticed that, but it looked like it was blinking. It definitely gives you a notification there that, uh, that you've got a bite. And then we go into a, a little mini game here. Hopefully we'll catch a lot of swordfish. There's a swordfish number one. And, um, you know, we didn't let these soak super long, but hopefully we'll still have some, some amount of fish. 
we call it only 348 kilos there. I think last time I let it soak for a full like 24 hours and I was getting um, well closer to like 500 kilos on most hauls. So we'll kind of see how this looks as we move forward. I don't know if time on these deep line rigs affects like how many fish you're catching. I also think if we occasionally get perfect on our little mini game there, that probably also gives you uh, a little better, a little better reward. All right. Yeah, this is the point in which it was, it didn't look like a miss to me. This is the point in which it was glitching out before. Sometimes I would get over here to start this process. Oh, that was a tuna, wasn't it? And um, there's perfect, nice swordfish. And it, the fish just wouldn't come up and then you'd be kind of stuck. You couldn't like get out of it or whatever. So I, I ended up waiting a couple days, kind of stopped progressing because I was tired of that little bug. So let's see, we got, oh wow, 726 kilos that time. So some, some, some variety there, some variance between between catches. Let's see what this next one gives us. You just slow this down. Oh, I think we got it. Ooh, it was close. Well, that's embarrassing. Sometimes it is right on there and it still says missed. It's weird. 611 kilos, so I, I don't know. Maybe getting perfects doesn't matter that much. So we can fit 6,000 kilos on this boat at this point. So um, we'll probably get pretty close to that, maybe 5K if we keep having these decent hauls. We'll see. Lots of swordfish, which is good. Yep, so we're halfway through, we got 2,100, so maybe we'll get more like 4,000, 4,500. But with the storage increase, the nice thing is we can, this whole haul, like the first time I did this, I didn't have the storage upgrade and I had to, um, I could only haul in half the lines, you know, so. Yeah, with that squid on as bait, we are catching a lot of swordfish, which is nice. A lot of swordfish. That was only 300 kilos. So only our 26 swordfish. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if that got reset on the update. Maybe not. 
seems like I've caught more than 26, but I'm not sure. I like it when you can get it early like that. So one more. Yeah, this will definitely put us over 4K. Old Rudy's getting tired. How is he at hauling? Deep line, pretty low still. He'll learn. Oh. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Thought we were going to have to go back. Alright, nice last one there. Okay, so we've got our fish on board, 4,362 kilos. Let's see how we did. And let's go ahead and discover this last port here, and we'll go check the prices there just for fun. Um, so we'll fast travel right up to here. Move a little slower with all that fish on board. We don't have any uh, engine upgrades or anything. I uh, could have discovered whatever that was. When you see those question marks, if you stop, you can discover points of interest, even uh, even boats and stuff that will unlock those boats in the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's hard to fast travel through that, isn't it? See the piles of the piles of swordfish on board. Oh. I assume that the port is in here somewhere. Yeah, it's gotta be. Maybe right up on that dock there. Yeah, I don't want to be fined. We should be able to fast travel pretty much all the way in once we get past this. Uh, I never let him rest, poor guy. So, you know, the next thing, obviously we need to sell the fish, but also we're gonna want to um, rebate the deep lines for our next trip out I mean it says it's right here oh here it is I see it now the boat feels so heavy with the fish on there okay so pretty decent prices on the swordfish and tuna. You see the, the swordfish is worth about 10 kilos more per fish. Um, so we got 212,000. Pretty nice sell there. We're up to 358,000. I did buy some upgrades and stuff on our um, tools and a couple on the boat as well. But So making good money. It really doesn't take that long. I mean, I've sort of showed you the entire process here. And um, Let's see, let's bait them with squid again, just so I don't forget and make sure this is on there. Um, it really doesn't take that long. I mean, we're gonna be able to purchase, uh, I really need to focus on unlocking all the boats because some of these out, you know, these places that are out here, 
on the outskirts. I feel like that's where a lot of the extra boats go when you discover them out in the on the map. But um, we're at almost 400,000. I, I mean, I feel like we're going to be able to get several more trips in while this is still in season. I mean, a lot more trips in if we want. And we've kind of found where the fish are unless they, unless they move as the months go by, we, weeks go by, which they totally could. But for now, we're in pretty good shape. So it's it's pretty fun. I, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. But again, I don't know how long I'll be playing it. So I thought, hey, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make one more video here. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, Fishing Atlantic. Um, it's, you know, you see what it is. It is what it is. North Atlantic. Sorry, not Atlantic. North Atlantic. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And I will see you next time.